Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Chris Cooper, known as the Channel Guy Trader, and I'm reporting to you live from Wall Street Trading's Miami office down in sunny South Florida. Today's date is Thursday, December the 19th, 2013, and here's today's midday market update brought to you by WallStreetTrading.com. I want to first start by taking a look to see how the indices are trading so far for the session here. We have the Dow pretty much flat, down four points. Uh, the Nasdaq's down 14 and a half. The S&P's down three and a quarter. Uh, looking at the bonds, the TLT's flat up a penny. VIX is down 17 cents. We're seeing some uh, weakness in the euro via the FXE down 29 cents. U uh, UUP, the dollar uh, ETF here up four cents. A weakness in commodities across the board. SLV silver down 59 cents. JJC copper down 38 cents. GDX gold miners down 29 cents. Um, GLD gold getting smoked down, to, uh, getting smacked down to date today here. Sorry about that. Down uh, two dollars and fifteen cents. Uh, looking at the USO, uh, USO is up thirty nine cents. So crude oil is definitely showing some, uh, showing some relative strength today. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the ES action here real quick. Give you guys a quick little update here. Uh, again, we put some Fibonacci's from yesterday's uh, low that we made after the FOMC announcement to the high. You can see we uh, did not even attempt to come back down to the 38.2% retracement, so the market's still holding a nice little bid. Uh, traded sideways overnight, came back down here, sold off to 17.95 for a little double bottom on the 15-minute chart. You can see, and now we're back above that opening price and uh, trading sideways, little W pattern in play, which you can see much clearer on the uh, five-minute chart right here. All right, there's a W at. You got your move down, move up, move back down, move back up. A little W popped up. And if we can hold the opening price, 1799, 75, we call it 1800. Should be looking for a move up towards some gap fill action, which is uh, we have the four o'clock, the 415 gap fills at 1804 half. The four o'clock cash close. I also watch that. That's around 1805 for that uh, gap fill. All right, and uh, <clears throat> what else are we looking at here? So that's how the S&P 500 futures are looking. Let me bring up my other screen here. We can take a look at the SPY for some of your home gamers, retail guys out there that track the uh, S&P to trade your equities. Uh, SPY, uh, again, same thing here, trading sideways, just like the ES, of course, W pattern. And, uh, you know, so far, inside day of yesterday's action. Uh, let's see. The triple Q, the NASDAQ 100. Uh, let's see, one second. We have the NASDAQ 100 showing a little bit of relative strength here today. The Russell 2000 is the weakest. Russell futures down seven. All right, so NASDAQ's hanging in there, looking uh, looking all right. Google's strong, pretty strong today, up six dollars and thirty-seven cents from the open. SCTY, some solar stocks trading pretty good. Triple D up. SSYS, FSLR. So who's getting a nice little pop up today? IBM. Um, so let's go and take a look at the IWM. IWM, again, you can see the difference. IWM, IWM Russell 2000 is making new lows intraday, lower highs in the downtrend while the other indices are trying to hold those lows. All right, so Russell, again, relative weakness, we call it. As uh, far as some equity names that we were watching today here in the chat room, again, we had the home sales. Existing home sales came out today and it came in less than expected. Uh, leading indicators came out at 10, Philly Fed Survey. Nat gas came out earlier, nothing too crazy there. But uh, KBH came out with earnings this morning. The stock's uh, been selling off here. We've been telling our guys in the room to keep it on the housing sector. Those housing stocks, KBH, Lennar, Toll Brothers, you can see that they're a little bit weak today. Um, definitely some good, good action in CCL. Stocks in play from earnings. Uh, we caught a nice little trade in that name here. We caught this nice little move up. All right, take a look at my one-minute my one minute chart. You can see my entry on that. Alright, so we caught this uh, long right here around uh, 38.30. We sold a piece right here at 38.55. We sold our last piece up here at 38.75. Definitely a uh, good trade. And we got stopped out of our other piece for break even right here. Not bad. Um, another trade that we were looking at this morning is XUS Steel. Alright, uh, we highlighted this action right in the morning in the first uh, 15 minutes of the day. Stocks are relative strength and we were able to buy it on a nice pullback. So I'm going to show you guys this trade as well here. I think I probably didn't, should have traded this one a little bit better, but um, you know we're able to buy some U.S. Steel right here, sold some up here, uh, got stopped out right here for a flat on the other piece. It actually should have been adding right there, and this thing took off. But again, some guys in the room definitely traded it better than I did. Either way, we're in the right stocks. Uh, has some decent support at 28.25. 
If it could break over 28.45 out of this range with momentum, look for move back up towards the highs. Some positive action in uh, the material space. Uh, CLF, AKS, making new highs. Double A, um, <laughs> Alcoa, uh, not doing anything but another material stock to keep your eye on. Um, Oracle, another uh, fast moving trade we discussed this morning before the market opened. The way it was set up, it was set up for a gap and go. Um, how do we know that? Well, it held its pre-market gap and it was trading sideways in its nice little range for a majority of the pre-market action. Held a nice bid down there pre-market. So the trade is to watch it on the one minute bar for the momentum move. That thing took off pretty fast and we missed it. But uh, some traders in the room caught it. So that's pretty good for them. But I personally missed it. But um, definitely give you some nice opportunities to buy that dip. And definitely a stock in play that we were on top of. And, on the, and uh, you know, our bias was on the right side of the trade. A GE gap down this morning. Not sure what the news was here. You can take a look at the one minute chart here and you can see that it's not really uh, doing much. It was able to recover those lows. Now it's pretty much just kind of trading sideways. Again, not a fast mover. So if you're looking for a fast mover, that stock is not the one you want to focus on. Uh, SCTY, definitely a uh, momentum trade here. All right, we talked about the solars in last night's video. You can see this one took off today. Um, you can take a look at FSLR. All right, FSLR, some good movement there. Positive action there. The nice little base right there at 5670. Triple D holding its highs. Keep an eye on SSYS maybe to catch some momentum with Triple D if it could break above 122.50. You can already see the volume pattern at the bottom of the chart. It's giving us a possible setup here. All right, with some volume expected to come in pretty soon, maybe like around 1 o'clock, 1.30. Keep an eye on it in any case. Um, aside from that, folks, I could go on and on about this video here, but I'm going to end it short. This is our midday market update. Uh, go to our website, wallstreettrading.com, to watch our after the bell market summary videos or subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, My Wall Street TV. If you like the analysis here, like the video, share the video, and come check us out in our live trading room for active and professional traders or for those looking to become active and professional traders at mywallstreettv.com. Have a great night, folks. I mean, have a great day, folks. Cheers.